and welcome back. Hey, how are you? How's it going? For today's video, I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys a little bedroom tour because as you guys may have noticed, my room is obviously switched up. So if that's something you are interested in seeing, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now and keep on watching. So before I even get into every little detail of this room tour, I thought I'd go ahead and basically explain to you guys why I did this change, which is coronavirus. So because of how crazy this virus was getting, we ended up having to obviously do a little lockdown situation. We had to stay home. We had to basically stay home, which is what I just said. So that really wasn't an issue for me because if you guys know me, you guys know that as it is, I don't ever really go out so it wasn't much of an issue what became an issue though was seeing the exact same thing as long as we were on this like lockdown thing i started getting frustrated with how my room was looking i didn't like the theme that i had anymore and i just really wanted to see something different i wanted to see something new something that i had never done before so this is what happened. <laughs> and I also want to give a quick shout out to Debbie because she was actually a big help with this transformation. And by the way, it's not complete yet. There's still a little bit that I would like to do. I just don't really have the full vision yet. So I am still in the brainstorming process for the rest of it. So um, yeah, without further ado though, here's the room tour. So to start off, we are gonna talk about my bed. So for the longest time, if you have been following me for a while, you guys know that my bed was always in this area here. It was either facing this way or facing that way. And I never thought that I was able to switch up my bed because the desk was obviously on this wall. And I didn't think I was able to move anything because of the Wi-Fi, but that actually kind of switched up. So we'll get to that in a second. But Starting off with my bed, I went ahead and bought this pretty cute bed set from Walmart. It has these cute little designs on it. It is a teal color. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty heavy. Like, the night that I opened it up and put it to wash and set it up was probably the most of a workout I have ever had. <laughs> it's that heavy, guys. I also got these sheets. These are like some cream colored sheets from my job. They look kind of white, but I promise they are like a cream color. And then I also got these decorative pillows to go with it. These are also from my job. I got three of them. I got this round velvet yellow pillow. I got this one that has a bunch of leaves on it and has little tassels on the edge. And then I just got this coral colored kind of geometric pillow and then I also did like a floral wall kind of thing which was inspo from Pinterest this whole bed set portion right here is Pinterest inspired and then coming over to this side I decided to put my lamp which was a big help because as I mentioned before I was kind of struggling with switching up the room because of the whole thing with the Wi-Fi because I didn't think I was able to move it but the solution was my lamp because the Wi-Fi is actually right here. I didn't have to move anywhere. So this was kind of the spot that I decided to leave my lamp for that reason. And also I think it goes very well with my bed and the flowers. And then moving over here to this corner, I have my clothing basket topped with both of my pandas. I thought that they would be a little much with my bed set so i just felt like this was the perfect spot for them and then i just decided to switch over my little panda piece of artwork where the pandas are i still have the suavecita flag up here on top but i do plan on taking it down just because i don't think it really matches the whole vibe of my room i bought these kind of like coral brickish kind of colored blackout curtains these are also from walmart they're actually long curtains but i didn't really like the whole long look so i just tied them with a little scrunchie to kind of give that little shorter effect and I actually really like it. Over here I decided to put the desk. This is originally the idea that I had was to switch the desk from this wall 
two over here by the window and I'm so glad that I was able to make it happen. It is a little crowded right now just because I haven't really figured out where I want to put all this other stuff but I just decided to add this little calendar here on top of my Lacey Sturm books and my brush and some makeup wipes. I decided to keep my Suavecita and Bride of Frankenstein collection in the center here along with the stickers feel like that gives it a good vibe. Over here I have my makeup brushes along with some candles that I bought, moisturizer, my contact solution, and then I went ahead and kind of well, it looks kind of messy again, but I had reorganized my junk drawer, which basically consists of like few necessities and then also just like random things. So like the camera battery chargers, I have my scrunchies, earphones, my suavecita makeup brushes, and then the rest of it I just call junk. <laughs> so there's that. This little corner here I decided to kind of keep as my filming corner. So this is where I keep the tripod and the ring light and also completed it with this piece of artwork that was gifted to me by my best friend. There's me. And then on this side, I decided to keep the Bride of Frankenstein up there. And then I have my schedule and then this quote that just stays with me. Trust yourself and make it happen. So that is basically it for this room tour. There is still a lot that I want to do. There's ideas that I have, debating if I want to add anything to this wall or if I just want to leave the spotlight to this one. The desk that I have, I kind of want to switch it up. I eventually want to get a vanity slash desk, like the two-in-one thing. And I've seen a few that I really like, but I just, I'm not too sure yet. So I'm not really like taking charge on anything. I'm kind of just sitting back, brainstorming as much as possible, taking a look at Pinterest and just trying to get the right image. So yeah, that's basically it with that. Hello. So while I have you guys here, I just wanted to quickly chat with you, kind of give you guys a little update on my filming schedule and such because as you guys may have noticed, I haven't been filming on a regular schedule or filming at all for that matter. And it's just because I have been lagging with motivation. For some reason, the motivation is just like this. Some days I wake up in the motivation to film and then some days I just don't have it at all. And I've even tried like to film videos, but when it comes to editing, I end up hating the video and end up deleting everything. So everything just fails. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that for the time being, until I figure out this whole thing, try to gain the motivation back. You won't be seeing videos from me as often as before, like the whole twice a week thing. So just Make sure that my post notifications are turned on so you guys know when I post my videos. But with that, we're going to go ahead and end the video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Comment down below your thoughts about this room transformation. What do you guys think about it? How do we feel about the new theme? What's in your mind? Comment that below. I would love to know. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram because when I am not here, I am over there. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!